partners on your back? Well, half on your back, right? So we're here, and it's the same idea. I'm defending, you can't get that hook in, all right? What I'm gonna do, I'm putting my arm in here, all right, and once he throws that hook over, okay, the biggest thing here, I can't let him peel it off. If he peels this off and puts his foot back there, that's that uh, Danaher straight jacket control. This is really bad, all right, because now it's two on one. All right, so when I set this up, I have to keep everything on my side of the knee, okay? So, we're here. I'm gonna grab up at the toes, bring my hand under to my wrist, and do a reverse toe hold, okay? And he's giving it to me. So we're here, That's I'm blocking, I got my hand on the inside of the knee, all right? Not out here, this is so serious. This, you're hooped, you're done. You really are done. There's, there's not much you're gonna do. Now you can try to tickle, but that's not gonna work on everyone. Some people aren't ticklish. You don't look like you're ticklish. So the tickle, it's not gonna work for everyone. All right. So I'm here. Once he throws it up over, toes under, outward. Okay. Regular toe hold is <laughs> this way. I can't reach my own stubby little arms. But this is going the opposite way. All right, so I'm going right here, lined up. Can you see, just come around. No, this is here, this is here, and I'm bending outward. But he's stuck to me, so it's not like he can just jump out of place. He's stuck, okay? So, I'm here, once it comes up over, grab the toes, reach under, outward, all right? And I'm still doing the same idea for toe hold. I'm aiming it right at the butt. <laughs> okay guys, so we're here. All right, I'm in this position, and we're just playing around to see how long he can try to choke, if I can catch this at all, right? If we're here, I'm only giving it up for a split second, right? So you really can't miss it. If you go for the foot and you miss it, so this is one of those things like, make sure you're drilling it. If this is something you want in your game, you might not. But if you're really hard to choke, this would be good. Okay, so I'm here. If I'm blocking and he doesn't have good key grips yet, once he brings that foot up, all right, if he throws that foot over, because right now, he doesn't have a choke, okay? So in the time it takes me to attack the foot, he's gonna be attacking the choke, all right? I know what I want, he doesn't know his foot's in danger. You guys understand the way that works? All right, so my attack should be quicker than his, okay, shit, I really have to choke him right now, right? Like that sense of urgency isn't really there for him right now, he's on my back. Okay, so once the foot crosses that line, because I'm not gonna go over here chasing it, okay? I'm here. Once the foot crosses that line, I'm grabbing it, okay? And then look, I'm flaring my elbow so I can make that space under, and I'm going for it. And if I'm right here, okay, try to choke me out. If I have this grip, I just took it, try to choke me out. I'm getting that tap, man, if I have the grip, right? because I have a quicker time getting to it than he does. We're here, I'm defending, I'm not letting him have it. If he already had this all locked in, then this is just like extra, right? You might just do it because it's Hail Mary. If he has this grip here, you're in trouble anyway. All right, we're here, I'm blocking, I'm fighting him, okay? Because I have to defend the hook and defend the choke at the same time. So I'm here, I'm defending. Once that comes over, I take my grip, and then I come under and grab and I start, yeah, you get the idea, right? Okay, he has to be faster than me, but I know I'm doing it. He doesn't know he's in danger, all right? Back to it. <laughs>